Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start with Basi here, creator of Catfish. It's one of the world singer, songwriter, producer, YouTuber, influencer, stylist, designer. Shout out all of those things that even matter now because we're going to dwell on the fact that I'm becoming a lawyer. If you remember, I told you guys I passed the bar final examinations. And if you don't remember, I just feel like you're not watching my videos. They lie. I know that you're not watching my videos because I let you give you a damn break. Like, if you do not remember, you do not watch my videos. Anyways, it's two weeks to the call to bar, which is induction into the legal profession and the ceremony holds at Abuja. My friends are not attending and my sisters are not attending as well. Hence this video. Um, before the call to bar ceremony itself, we have so many things that we're supposed to do, like take pictures, like call to bar shoot, which is not compulsory per se, but we just do it like to get in the call to bar mood and everything. Then we have like we pay dues, then we have to travel to Abuja because call to bar holds in Abuja, then go for clearance and all of that. So, I'm going to be taking you through all of that. Um, so the, I think the first thing that I'll do today is to get my wig and gown. I already bought it online from an online store like that that sells wig and gown. That's the lawyer's robe and gown that they wear. But like, I didn't know that they stay outside Lagos. So they asked me to go to the park, a transport company's park to collect it. So I'm going to the transport company's park first. Then immediately after I collect it, I'm heading over to the studio to have the, to do the photo shoot now, the law, the call to bar photo shoot. So I think that's all I'll do for today. So let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Stay tuned. So, guys, I'm here to collect my wig and gown. This place looks weird. Chantry and Smith. This place looks weird. Use normal um, transport company, please. Let's go. This place is actually really weird. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. So, I've gotten the big and the gown. I picked it up from that place and we stopped filming that. Because I didn't want people to see me that like very stay shouting. Chantry and Smith, please do better. I don't know why you chose that transport company, but literally it was not worth the stress. Free delivery, but you want to kill me. Is it really worth it? Anyway, guys, I've got to meet and we're on our way now to the studio. This is my first time. It's my first time doing a photo shoot. I take all my pictures of myself, most of my pictures of myself. So I'm like hundred percent comfortable with myself but I don't know if I'm comfortable and if the person that I'm going to take the picture of it will get the pictures like perfectly but like I'm hoping and trusting but I'll still go with this tripod with good measures so that in case I don't like these pictures I can use mine maybe by the one drink who is behind the camera this person now the OGs we know her because we have done things to her in the past this is my personal assistant for today, my boy scouts, princess. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. When I get there, I'll show you the contents of this bag. The person taking my picture today is the talented Kenzat. And the person doing my makeup today is the sister of Kenzat, who is also getting caught. Her name is Nenny, and knowing her is knowing talent. So, guys, I know you probably wondering what is face and catfish. This is catfish. Makeup is done, hair done. I wasn't. I just brought this wig, but I didn't plan on wearing it. I just wanted to use my. Gel, gel, what is it called? The packing gel that I did, but now that packing gel has fought because of makeup. I have to go ahead with my wig and see how it goes. Stay tuned. The package contains like three or four items. The first one is the lawyer's wig, second is the lawyer's robe, that's the one we call gown. When I've been saying we gang gown, we gang gown, this is what I mean by gown. The third one is lawyer beef. 
this one you get to put it on your neck then the last one was the camisole but i didn't find the video of it. i was so excited to show you people that we can gown so i didn't even really realize until like the photo shoot was going on that the wig was nonsense couldn't enter my head the gown on its own was too big extra large while i told them like i literally sent them pictures of myself so there's no way they couldn't have seen that i was like very skinny then the bib the bib was not even my size like it was like like three sizes after my size that whole package was not just it's the only thing that was like perfect there was the camisole they gave to me but notwithstanding all of that the show must go on Look at the dead wig. Look at it. For this shoot, he used three backgrounds for me. Two, he used the spotlight. Then one was just like a basic plain black background. This wig is still not given. The third and the final background and an explanation to the real life posted of me and Princess and how we fell on the floor. Nenny and Princess complete with that. They're the ones that I also threw out this photo shoot and I have videos to prove it. After the shoot, we headed home. Two hours later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Princess had already gone far by now. <laughs> yeah, if I tell you I got home by 11 pm that day, would you believe me? Like, Princess got home before me, she got home earlier, but like, we don't stay at the same place, so that's why. But like, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart that I'm Jack Never. This is just dirty legal behavior. At some point, I had to come down from my boat because it was not moving, I had to enter Keke. Shasha, I liked the pictures, like the pictures that he took of me, the raw footage, all of them. I liked every single one of them. But after I edited them, I didn't like his edits, so I told him that I would edit it by myself. So, like, my official call to bar pictures that I posted on IG are edited by me. Got the sound back yeah. NLS Lagos, rather, NLS Nigeria, that's Nigeria, Law School Nigeria has me up by 7 it's 7 16 going to the bank to queue because apparently they need you to pay stuff inside the bank like and they invented transfer like this nls they always make me feel like i'm in the stone age and like with every single thing they do they make us feel like we're in the stone age the marking the way the school is now with the payments they're telling me to go inside the bank i you know how the bank can be i don't want to spend my entire day there so i'm on my way there now by this time i'm on number one of the land i beg and that was like the last time i filmed anything on my phone again <laughs> like tell me how you make vlogs where you're actively going through it i was going through it like i wasn't even able to see after that day the next thing i filmed was like two days before i traveled and trust me i only came to complain <sighs> i'm so tired it's sam the field yahoo boy in case you were wondering i feel like my life is falling apart what crime did i commit i only passed the bar finals i can't even believe that people who didn't pass are going through so much then people who passed are also going through a lot I haven't slept for close to 10 hours in the past week because I keep going out for something and end up, I keep, like, there's so many things that are going on. This morning I went to, so my bed is very scattered because it's, I'm supposed to leave next tomorrow, being Monday, today's Saturday. And I haven't even packed a single thing into my bag. I've been on the road today. At this point, I think I'm going to cry or something. I'm literally so exhausted. If you ask me what I did to get this tired, I would say I went to the bank like three more times for my friends because they said that the payment has to be done by someone who has his own bank account and I was the only one who had it. So I had to help them go pay. I had to buy suits for the call to bar 
Then I found out last minute that we're supposed to wear only leather shoes. So I had to go to the market and I spent like four hours looking for leather shoes. Then my uncle fell sick like few like prior to this day he felt like too sick so i had to be his i let it took him to the hospital i let it cut out for him throughout the period because he actually got admitted i stayed in the hospital two hours that day then i had to go shoot content for my friend like help my friend shoot content for a brand so i was dying then i had to go and baby slash deliver something for my other friend i was dying at this point i was like god please i do i didn't even know if i was going to wake up again like i thought i was going to pass on i am so tired i don't even know if i might wake up tonight because i'm literally shaking like my my my, my spinal cord is vibrating and i can feel it i put my phone on um all the name of that stuff i put my phone on dnd because i'm literally losing it i don't know why people are calling me up and down i literally received so much calls today than anybody i know i had to enter into the market because i was passing there apparently you cannot wear any other shoe a size leather shoe so i had to go and buy for myself so as i was there i had to buy for my friend as well i don't even look like myself i think this is where i don't even look like myself jesus christ you guys feel for me i think i might die this night <laughs> i'm so tired Let's get to it. It's no pain no gain. Oh. I hate traveling and I'm going to make it evident in every vlog that I make. But if you want to know, I'm packing this much clothes for just call to bar. Watch my previous vlog to know where I wore this clothes to. I've been here for like five seconds straight and there's hold up. <laughs> Guys, we're on our way to the Nigeria Law School now. We have screening. We're supposed to go to the law school, then do something there, then we'll go to the Supreme Court. Then after that, we'll go back to the law school and conclude with what we are supposed to do today. And we've been on the road since, um, I think... 6 30 we are not still there apparently the law school is very far from the other the town so now we're in hold up even though people said there's no hold up in abuja and we are hoping to be done with this particular stuff by like five today i really hope we're able to do it today we finally got to the nigerian law school campus abuja and all i can say is that whilst all of us paid school fees only some of us got to enjoy it shasha this was by 8 a.m ish and see the amount of people here ew when we were done with the law school we headed to the supreme court and after that we headed home i had not even spent like one hour at home and i got this message guys like i really don't know what's wrong with these people we just came back like an hour or two ago we came back we ended up coming back by i think three or four but like a few minutes ago my friend sent me a message apparently he came from the law school and they said we should come back tomorrow to collect invites i wish come to Bari to collect invites tomorrow by invites i mean like access cards for students for people that are not like um, new wigs like people that are not getting called to bar like parents or visitors that you want to have inside the event center for the ceremony you can give them the cards to be able to access the center so basically access cards my problem with this whole setting is, is that this um clearance thing this screening thing started since on saturday why couldn't they just hand you invites immediately you are done with your clearance tomorrow now i'll carry myself and be going back to that far place that far place even the transport itself is expensive then i'll go there again tomorrow just to collect invites and i know that it's going to be a lot of stress to collect that invite because everybody's going to be there at least this thing they've been doing batch by batch it was reducing the crowd and the people were still plenty but like now that they say everybody should come and collect invites the entire people that pass will be there trying to drag for invites 
Like, I'm really tired of these people. I don't even know how to even explain it, to be honest. I beg. After complaining, I still carried myself back there the next day. <laughs> and I used the opportunity to get into this wig and gown vendor shop and was able to get myself a new wig and a bib. Come on now, look at this wig. Look at this wig, then look at this bib. The difference is quite clear. Sasha, I finally got the invitation cards. After struggling, I fought for this thing. I couldn't even bring my phone. If I had brought my phone out to record, the phone would have broken. Sha, this will give me one invitation card. Apparently, they are giving just one invitation card to students. I don't know what they expected. So I should give my dad one and make my mom stay outside. Or should I give my mom one and make my dad stay outside? I don't know. But later on, students that weren't, that didn't have anybody coming for them for the event, started selling off their invitation cards and decided to be useless about it and sell it for like up to 20,000 naira, like one invitation card, 20,000 naira. Shasha, my only my daddy entered in the end. You guys, the course of is tomorrow and they are not allowed to carry any form of vivon or wigs or anything. So I went to do the needful and just pack my natural hair. Today is the D day. I'm getting called to the Nigerian bar today. I'm gonna be a lawyer. But before I start explaining to you the rubbish that transpired this morning, let me explain how the call to bar works. The call to bar is holding for two days. On the 6th of December and on the 7th of December, and there are two on the 6th of December, the first day is holding, there are two streams. The morning stream and the afternoon stream. The morning stream holds by 9 slash 10 a.m. Then the afternoon stream holds by 12 slash 1 p.m. And unfortunately for me, I fell into the afternoon stream madness. And this morning, guests who started looking for their suits. This guy, proper Ngozi fashion, like of course, that's how that's how I start the morning. That's how I start the morning. Like you guys, these people have misplaced my suits. My fault it's too much for this. My pain and suffering now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do. Today is the day, and they misplaced my suits. I'm going to search for it, sure. I don't finish crying. I don't wipe my eyes. I looked for this stuff for like thirty minutes straight or more before I found it. You guys, you all made the crusty clown. I found it. They didn't even iron it well, but I'm so glad. My friend collected it and she did see my face has already turned to a stressed human being's face. But sure, my friend collected it and she didn't know that she collected it. So I went to check in, in her wardrobe now and I found it because I called her. She was the one that like introduced me to the drag cleaner. And I'm so happy, but also so sad at the same time because I've already finished boiling my eyes. I'm so glad I have it. I should have just been like others sleeping beside their suit. I don't know why I did this. So my goal for this outfit is to look like Papa from that his long movie that he acted. I loved everything about his look and his mannerism and everything. Guys, this is the finished look. And we're twinning, guys. <laughs> Still, guys, like play, like play. This baby is actually becoming a lawyer. Or like play, like play. It's not even funny anymore. The souvenirs are ready now. If you want, if you want one, tell me, Daddy, please, in the comments. So on my way to the event place where they do the call to bar, the auditorium, I encountered the kind of hold up I never encountered before. Not only did the boss guy extra charge me, he wanted to drop me on the road and like I get coconut head, I do not agree. He just to drop me on the road, but I made sure he drops me like in a walkable distance. Then I walked down. But like my parents were not lucky enough. They had to walk like a whole mile. They stayed in traffic for like up to three hours. And they just came from Lagos that same morning. So it was very hectic for them. They had to walk down. My dad had sent out bike. It wasn't even funny at all. Because ours were, was in the afternoon stream and people from the morning stream were just leaving. Everywhere was so rowdy. There was no line. So everybody was just sta standing in the jam park. There was no moving. And how we were, they started saying we should form a line. It was not even possible. Cha, the disorderliness continued till like 3 o'clock, past 3. And that's when the event started. Like, it either it started by 2 or 3 or past 3. I knew that I had been standing there since like 10 a.m. I would say that I stood for five hours straight. Yeah. 
I'm not even joking. Five whole hours straight if you don't believe me. Rest. They finally let us in. I got to enter inside and rest my back. Ah. Then we stood some more. Then we did some other things that I can't categorically tell you because if you want to know, go and study long and get caught too. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that was the end of the ceremony. It didn't really take too much time. Then we walked back again before we could find our car. If you see my shoe, yeah, see my shoe. It's the nonsense I packed. After the event, I was so tired, which is normal because I mean, I wasted too much time there. Too much time was taken and we stood for a while. Then after the event, now my parents, since they came, wanted to take pictures in front of the BOB center where we had the event. Then this dead ass photographer, like I, I, I would make no wonder he's standing outside taking pictures. This guy came to us and told us I wanted to take pictures. Tell me why first I look like I graduated in 1980 and tell me like, look at this picture. I know that I was stressed, but that deserved it. And this man collected like one k for each picture, and we took like ten at not twelve. And I was actually, and he's not even had. I God, I feel so angry. But then again, I should have known when he charged one k because who take pictures for one k these days? <laughs> I'm here to enroll guys. I couldn't do it yesterday because yesterday drained me. So we're at the Supreme Court. Let it go, baby. Hello. <laughs> I think I'll give the ceremony, cut to bar ceremony itself, a 4 over 10 because the whole thing was just so low vibrational. <laughs> but I'm not joking, 4 over 10 because I got the certificate. But the rest of it, I think every other thing leading to the cut to bar itself was fun, aside from the cut to bar. Mm, I stood for too long, like the whole dop and every other thing. The fight with the boat guy, then the 4 over 10, I'm sorry, 4 over 10. <laughs> don't be confused we're having a thanksgiving like how am i going to do all of that and not do a thanksgiving i mean god has been good so we have to go and thank him yeah i had to get more souvenirs because the other one had finished i don't know what my parents did with them these people had me up by like 5 a.m for cooking like we did all of this before we went to church then this is my thanksgiving dress which i love and this is me giving the Thanksgiving. <laughs> I muted the audio because I know people see me in my weak moments. Shasha, my dad turned the entire Thanksgiving into his own square dance meeting. The devil came to play, but like in the end, it was a wrap. So because I got tongue tied during my Thanksgiving, I couldn't say most of what I wanted to say because I almost started crying. I couldn't ask him. I could not embarrass myself as a hard girl. Like even if I wanted to cry, I mean, I'm not crying for the people. I can't be crying for people in church. I just wanted to say that once you enter law school, like even if you were doing things on your own before in the university, like everything was by your own power, which obviously is not. When you get to law school, like God has to be, God automatically takes over. Like you just have to leave everything for him, like most of it for him. You do your best, then the rest God will do it. If you're not serving God, whatever it is that you're serving, like you leave it to that person or thing that it is. And that's the person that helped you throughout because to be honest, the whole law school was not by my power. Either was it by my mind. I think the soundtrack for like law school experience would be Billie Eilish and um, what's the name? Happier than ever. When I'm away from it, I'm happier than ever. I would not never try that thing again i'm glad i don't have to do it again i'm glad that god helped me throughout anytime i like i've made countless videos to tell you guys how like to just to people about my like law school experience but i midway is that i end up stopping midway because i get chills or i start crying or when i'm editing it i just can't go for that because it brings back like serious memories that i want to even bury so when i feel like i'm more comfortable talking about it or maybe when i feel like it doesn't hurt as much as it's supposed to like it used to then i'll speak about it but law school wasn't in fear it wasn't in fear it was not even 
I can't lie to you, but like I did it, so I think you can do it. The ones that were not able to make it this year, you'll be able to make it as soon as like possible. It was not your fault, it's a system. And the ones that are incoming, I hope you don't get discouraged by this thing I'm saying now. Like, I mean, there's nothing that is not hard, but like I know that law school is just a little bit harder. And just maybe because I didn't know what I was getting myself in, so maybe that's why it was that hard for me. So like now that I've told you, you'll be prepared now to see the shaggy that I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you, Lord, for helping me out complete to complete this part of my life i feel like now i feel like nothing is holding me back to be very honest before i felt like law school was holding me back the whole thing was holding me back but now i can't really wait to see what like is in store for me i'm so glad that you watched this video to the end if you did please like subscribe and share and goodbye